Hello friends, today I am going to describe how to print a digital clock using Python. This is the output. This is the source code. Now I describe one by one of this code. Let us now understand how this Python code works to create a colorful digital clock. First, importing module and creating a tinctar window. Import tinctar module and SRTF time module in our Python program. We need the tinctar module to create and stylish the clock and STRF time package to get the system time. Use this code to create a tinctar window that is from tinctar import star from tinctar.ttk import star. This is the statement. Now creating a label and display time on it. Moving forward we will create a time function to display time on the tinctars window using a label. This is a time function. This is a string which access the str time whose by default value is percentage age, percentage m, percentage s, percentage p. Here percentage s, percentage age is used for hour, percentage m is used for minute percentage s is used for second and percentage p is used for pm and m lbl config text equals string here whatever the string is printed it print using text equals string message and lbl is a level and after 1000 milliseconds the timer has been changed that is you see that time has been changed after 1000 milliseconds. This is the code. Next, I define the level field. Customizing the appearance of the clock. In the next step, we will customize the clock appearance by changing the font, size, style background color and foreground color here's the code to do it here first i define level level is the control name which print in in a root package font is calibri size is font and style is bold background color is purple and foreground color is white you see the output foreground color is uh, white and background color is purple. This is the code. Next, placing the digital clock at the center, center of the form. Finally, we will change the alignment of the clock to the center using the code. LBL.pack anchor equal to center and time. That is we use these functions. Whenever I have run this code, we get the output as okay. I put all this code in my video descriptions. You just copy it and run in the Python IDLE cells and you get the output. Thanking you. Visit again in next video.